Hey guys, Sam Spade, back with another video. Uh, it's been a while since I've been on YouTube, uh, been on a little hiatus, uh, but I've been trying to answer all the questions I can for you guys about my target display mode setup. Uh, so these are two vintage Macs that I got hooked up, target display mode. Uh, it's working in uh, Mac OS Ventura, uh, but I finally got my hands on a used M1 MacBook Air. And uh, today's video, I want to show you guys, I got it working to where I can have a triple display setup from the M1 to both of these screens. So now this workaround will work with any Mac, whether it's retina display or, or not. So it should work with any, uh, any of the Mac displays. Uh, it's not a perfect solution by any means, but it is a workaround and it works with these new M1s and M2s. Now this, this tutorial utilizes a couple things, so let's get into it. So you're gonna need some target displays. I've got a 2013 iMac and a 2012 iMac. Uh, you're gonna need a M1 MacBook Air. Uh, you're gonna need a capture card. So uh, I bought this one on eBay. This was a cheap capture card. You're gonna need a capture card and the proper hookup cables. Now this one I bought for streaming. Uh, I was gonna use it for my Nintendo Switch and do some online streaming. So I'm gonna get this all hooked up and show you what we're working with here. All right, everyone, I got everything hooked up. So as we can see here, I've got my MacBook Air. This is a 2020 and I just have the cable hooked into the backboard here. And that comes around, it goes into the HDMI and we've got our uh, HDMI, oops, excuse me, We've got our HDMI going into the input, and then this on the other side, uh, just a USB cable. And both of those have power adapters, and those are going back into the back of my 2013 iMac. Okay, and if we come over to the settings on our host computer here, so we go system settings, come down to displays. You can see HDMI to USB pops up. Uh, so this is your built-in display resolutions, and then you've got your HDMI to display. And as you can see, it's got all sorts of different things here. So uh, you can switch these, but as you can see, nothing is uh, actually switching over here just yet. So over here on your target display, we've got to come over here and there's a piece of software we need, and it is called Quick Camera. So go ahead and open Quick Camera. And when this pops up, uh, right now I've got it set to my OBS virtual camera. Uh, but you come up to Camera, select Source, and USB Video. And when we switch that, here we go. So now we can go ahead and just maximize that. And as you can see, we can bring the window from here over to here. Now, it's not a perfect solution. As you can see, um, there is like slight lag. I don't know if you guys can see that. Like I'm moving the mouse, there's slight lag. Uh, again, you'll have to adjust the screensaver settings on the target Mac that you're using for the display uh, so that that won't go off. If you're working uh, on, a, on some project, you don't want the screensaver popping up. Um, but the screensaver for your host Mac should take over and it will work. So as you can see, we've got all the displays settings here and I believe natively this is the resolution for the iMac. So as you can see, it works, um, but there is some lag. So it's not a perfect solution, but again, if you're, if you're editing videos and, and such, it shouldn't be a problem, um, the lag issue that is, because uh, you can have your main timeline up here and then just put your your main focus stuff on your main display over here and then just have all your tools and other things over here timeline however you know you can have two monitors basically so you can do your main edit here and then have like your monitor here uh, for fine tuning and stuff like that uh, that's the way i would utilize it um, and again this is just proof of concept video i haven't edited video on this just yet so i just wanted to show you guys that it can be done and um, 
This again should work for any year iMac. So this is a 2013, but if you have a retina display, this setup should work for you. So this is my M1 and we're utilizing the software and a capture card to beam this over to this iMac. But I had a hunch and I'm like, what if I can get the triple display setup going? So uh, we're utilizing the capture card here. And if we turn off the target display mode that we already have running, and then I can add this monitor as an AirPlay display. So let me show you guys how to do that. Oh, we've got, uh, uh, using AirPlay, I can hook up this monitor to the, back there. and now we've got a triple display set up. So as you can see, we've got the capture card on this one, the M1, and then we've got the iMac Beta utilizing AirPlay. The only problem with AirPlay is you're limited to 1920 by 1080. And I believe, yeah, that knocked this one down for some reason. So we can turn this one back to that resolution. This one, unfortunately, it will only uh, cap out at 19, 1920 by 1080. Um, and that's just utilizing AirPlay. Um, and we can come in here and if we hit arrange, so when you first hook them up, as you can see, the arrange, it kind of screws everything up. Uh, so what we want to do is pull this one down here and that butts up there and then pull it go. Okay, so this is important to uh, butt these all three up. So that way, when you're using your mouse and you want to go from this one to this one, arrange your displays so you can go from one to the next and then down to the M1. Uh, so as you can see, we have a triple display setup utilizing two old iMacs to my M1. Uh, it's not a perfect workaround. I wish we could just have a company develop some proper cables that would just hook up, uh, or maybe a hub that we could just utilize target display mode. Uh, but for now, this is the only workaround that I have found. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys.